OK, so let's say we want to calculate the age of the universe. So we see a galaxy somewhere out in space, and we know how far away it is. Uh, maybe because there was a supernova over it, and we used the inverse square law to measure the distance. And we also measure a redshift. So let's say the distance is 10 megaparsecs, and the redshift is 0 0.00233. So we get this by looking at the spectrum, seeing what wavelengths the dips are, and how much it shifted from the lab. And this is rather harder and probably came from um, using a standard candle of some description. So given these two numbers, how old is the universe? Well, we can convert this into a, into a velocity. If you remember, redshift is equal to the velocity divided by the speed of light, so velocity is just equal to c times the redshift. So multiply this by the speed of light, and we get a velocity of about 700 kilometers per second. So it's moving that way at about 700 kilometers per second. So if we extrapolate backwards, if it's going away from us at 700 kilometers per second, how far in the past would it have been here? So what we need to do is calculate how long it would take traveling at a speed of 700 kilometers per second to go 10 megaparsecs. So the time is just going to be equal to the distance over the speed or the velocity, just like it is for anything on Earth. So the distance is 10 megaparsecs. Now, I'm, megaparsec is a million parsecs, so that's times 10 to the 6 times the parsec, which is 3.09 by 10 to the 16 meters, divided by the velocity, 700 times 1,000 to convert to from kilometers per second to meters per second. And that comes out as 4.4 by 10 to the 17 seconds, which is a big number, as usual in astronomy. Let's convert it into something more meaningful. So if we divide by 365, by 24, by 60, and by 60, one after another, so to go from seconds to minutes, minutes to hours, hours to days, days to years, that comes out as about 14 billion years. So that's giving us an estimate of the age of the universe, assuming that it's moving away from us directly at a constant speed the whole time, which won't be true, but gives us a rough figure.